So today we're going to be talking about fourth generation CT. Namely, in fourth generation CT, it was the first time that the CT geometry had a fully concentric ring of detectors. This is Brian Nett from HowardRadiologyWorks.com. We have bite-sized content for those in the radiology field. If that sounds good to you, click below on subscribe and then click on the little bell icon so you can get notified when we release new content. Fourth gen CT coming up now. High level, what we're gonna be doing is talking about fourth generation CT and we have other videos on the first three generations of CT. Also very short videos just like this one. And in third generation CT, that was the first time that there wasn't translation needed during the scanning. So fourth generation CT is a little bit different than third because if you remember in third generation CT, both the source and detector rotated and they were constantly across from one another. In fourth generation CT, now you have a ring essentially of detectors. So more detectors are necessary and then your source is moving around and the detectors are stationary. So this sometimes is called rotate stationary geometry. For several reasons, this didn't win out the race and third generation CT really is a more efficient way to acquire the data. And as long as proper corrections can be made, really can provide the best image quality. This was a intermediate step, but third generation CT, where the source and detector are across from one another, is really the bread and butter that's the heart of modern CT scanners. So again, this is Brian Nett with HowRadiologyWorks.com.